Hi, I'm Kate Armstrong. I work in our family farming business with my dad David, mum Della and brother Ross. Uh, we're an arable farm based at Bardney. We farm around 400 hectares of combinable crops and also potatoes. As with most, most farms, no day is really the same. Um, for when lockdown hit for us, it was right at the beginning of uh, potato planting. So there was quite a few concerns there with our staff health, hoping that they would make it through the potato planting season without any ill effects. Uh, luckily, from a day-to-day -day basis, we didn't see too many effects of the coronavirus situation other than having to bring in uh, distancing measures to ensure that our staff were safe. Uh, one of the real bonuses, I suppose, of the uh, lockdown for most farms was the fact that the roads were really quiet and we could actually move around uh, quite e easily with the tractors. But I'll give you a little sneak peek of what uh, may happen in a day for us on the farm. So today at Abbey Farm is more of a wet weather day. We've got some muck leading going on, on a muck for straw basis. Hopefully that rain's coming this way. And then we've got servicing up the potato harvester ready for the new season. So something else that we're really busy with on the farm at the moment is irrigating the potatoes. Obviously with the spring being as dry as it is at the moment we've pretty much irrigated right from the point in which they're planted. Really important for scab control. Um, as you can see it's not sort of traditional overhead irrigation. We have now got pretty much all of our potatoes irrigated via drip irrigation. So the tape is planted into the bed with the potatoes so that the water is a lot more uh, directed into the rows and where it needs to be, reducing evaporation. But we have been having increasing issues this year with pest damage on the tape, both crows and hares chewing through the tape. We've got through well over a thousand joiners so that's been keeping us busy over the past weeks uh, just keeping the potatoes irrigated the best we can. We've always bagged a small number of potatoes into 25 kilo bags. It's not something we've done a huge amount of because really we're set up for selling potatoes to the wholesalers um, but as the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic panned out there's obviously the supermarket shelves became very empty so we decided as a business that we would try and support the local community and offer delivery to people that were self-isolating in the local village and also bag more potatoes to sell from the farm gate to people within the village and this was an area that took off really quite quickly. This has been quite a common view for us throughout uh, the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, most of the small bags that we have bagged up for people has been done by hand because we're not massively set up for doing small bags at this stage. Um, but this is something following the positive feedback that we've had from people that we're going to be taking forwards into the next harvest year and um, looking to gain on and offer smaller bags uh, to people um, to fit their lifestyle better than the normal 25 kilo bag that is often produced on farm. So this is something really positive that's come out of this awful time um, and we're really excited uh, to, to take it forwards. We're, we're naming it the Spud Barn. Um, we've set up a Facebook page and which is gathering momentum all the time. Um, we aim to give people an idea of what goes into growing a crop throughout the year and then use it to uh, help us market the potatoes once we get the new crop uh, in sort of September time. Hopefully that's given you a bit of a insight into what we get up to on a daily basis. I'm going to leave you with something that I've just seen recently on social media that made us all smile. And that's that potatoes don't get the recognition for their versatility. There really is a potato for every occasion. For breakfast, there's hash browns. Fast food, there's French fries. For fancy dinner, there's dauphinoise. For comfort food, there's the baked potato. For relaxing at home, there's crisps with dip. But most importantly, for lockdown, there's vodka. Stay safe, everybody. And remember, no matter how scary times are at the moment, you're never alone.